Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I just want to chat with y'all, and this is another question for hip hop. I just got a, I just got a question for y'all. Let's, you know, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage me, engage with me. Drop me a comment in the comment section. But the question that I have for y'all today for hip hop is. When it comes down to DJ Vlad and when it comes down to Adam 22, are they both culture vultures for hip hop? Again, let's have a discussion about this chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. Let's yeah, let, yeah, let's just you know, let's just have a discussion about this. You know, this is an in another opinionated video like are Vlad and both like our Vlad and Adam 22, both culture vultures for hip hop. I'm going to give you my answer on how, on how I feel about this. When it comes down to Vlad TV and when it comes down to like no jumper with Adam 22, I mean, some, some of the rappers that be going up, they're like, I mean, I have, I have heard, you know, about like, you know, certain artists, certain rappers getting in trouble getting uh, like arrested because like when they was on Vlad TV and when Vlad asked them a question about a certain situation that they had did they end up telling Vlad the truth about it and it's like they ended up getting in trouble thinking that you know Vlad was like their friend you know what I mean and, and, and yeah sometimes like I have I, I, I have seen interviews where like Vlad TV where he be like where where he be like asking these rappers like certain questions because I know um the, the this other artist this other rapper Kid Trunks he used to rap with XXX Tentacion you know I remember when he asked him a question you know about a certain situation where he was asked did y'all beat the bully up and and he explained he stated that he wasn't going to get into detail which was a you know, a smart thing for him to do, you know, because I mean, you know, it's just like with, with some of these rappers, when they go on Vlad TV, it's like sometimes like they, they tell on their self. So I do feel in some aspects that Vlad is kind of like a culture vulture for asking certain questions, you, you, you know, like, you know, like that, that, that's just kind of like out of line or whatever. Because there there has been like certain people, people like um Nick Cannon and lyricist artists like Royce the Five Nine. Because I know Royce the Five Nine and Vlad, I know they had a relationship, but Royce the Five Nine doesn't even do Vlad TV interviews anymore. Yeah, like and and that's another thing too, like when when the situation between Royce the Five Nine and Yellow Wolf was going on, like Vlad, when he interviewed Lord Jamar, he gonna tell Lord Jamar about the situation. Like Lord Jamar didn't really have nothing to do with the beef with Royce the Five Nine and Yellow Wolf. I mean, to be honest, that's that's not really what. Well, well, I mean, I understand that it's a song, but I mean, Lord Jamar didn't really have nothing to do with that. But yeah, and, and and just like with um Adam twenty two no jumper like, uh you know the situation with Aaron Carter like Aaron Carter passed away and it's like, you know I you know I don't know like it, it it's just it's just some weird stuff. But I myself I myself as a fan of hip hop as a fan of lyricism lyricism because. Some of my some of my favorite artists have done uh Vlad TV interviews. I mean, I'll be looking at the interviews that they do, but I but I I've also noticed that you know like they ask like certain questions on Vlad TV that's you know like kind of out of line and it, and it causes like the you know the artist, the person that's doing the interview, like the interviewee to get a little irritated with them to get you know, kind of like pissed off with them because I know that there was an interview that, uh, that, um, Tretch, like Tretch, like Tretch is an OG, 
yeah, Tretch from Naughty by Nature, when he was asked a question about the Tupac and Biggie situation, he just walked out of the interview. And you see, you know, that that's a personal situation for him. Like, him and Tupac were really close. Like, Tupac was like his brother. Tupac was like his dog. And another thing, too, it, it kind of just seems to me that, I don't know, it kind of somewhat seems that Vlad and Adam 22, it kind of seems like, well, Vlad, to me, it kind of seems like Vlad be interviewing too many people. Like, Vlad even interviewed the woman that, like, had accused Tupac of, of, of rape. Like, you know what I mean? It, it just seems that, like, he just, you know, like, interviews, like, too many people, like... You know, it's, it's just crazy. So in, in that aspect of it, I do feel that both Vlad and Adam 22 were both kind of like culture vultures for hip hop. And I know that there's a lot of other people in hip hop that feel the same. But I mean, I'll, I'll admit, you know, as a fan, do I watch any Vlad TV interviews? I mean, if it's if if, if it's like my favorite artist up there, yeah, I'll watch it. But I know, like, there's a lot of people that feel this way about about uh, Vlad TV because I know when it comes down to artists such as Joe Budden, Lupe Fiasco, like, Lupe Fiasco, it seems like Lupe Fiasco has beef with uh, Vlad TV. Joe Budden, it seems like he has beef with Vlad TV. It seems like Joe Budden and Lupe Fiasco and even like Nick Cannon and um Royce the Five Nine, like they don't, you know, they don't really like, you know, you know, roll with Vlad no more because of, you know, just because of like some of the questions that he be asking. Because Nick Cannon, he got tired of going on Vlad TV and Vlad always asking him, you know, stuff about Eminem, Eminem this, Eminem that, you know, stuff like that. Like, Lord Jamar, he's the one that started the whole controversial statement that white rappers are guests in hip-hop and stuff like that. But, yeah. But, yeah, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me. Engage with me. My fellow fans, my fellow hip-hop fans, my fellow fans of lyricism. Let's have a discussion. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new song, I Can and I Will Remix, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.